Right, so I was a bit nonplussed when I first started using uh, all of this new technology, BIM360 Team Collaboration Forever, otherwise known as C4R, as well as the desktop connector, which is synchronizing BIM360 Team down to my desktop. Um, wonderful technology. I love this stuff, but sometimes a little bit confusing. This is one of the things that confused me, and I hope I can, I can actually share this with you. So you know that, uh, or you might not know, <laughs> whichever, if you're working with the technology or not, that if you want to work offline with one of these files, one of the things that you can do is you can actually right-click on your Autodesk desktop connector and say work offline. That allows you to work offline for 72 hours. In other words, like a colleague of mine tried to explain to me, well, that corresponds to a weekend. And quite right, it does. So pretty much if you go home over the weekend and you want to work offline, it's only going to make files available to you that you've already synchronized to your desktop. Now remember, what it does is synchronize the file naming, the file system, and the names of the files, but not necessarily, it doesn't download all of the files. You can imagine there might be point clouds and a whole bunch of documents on there. It's going to take forever to download to your C drive, and it's going to take up all of the space. All right. So basically what's going to happen over here is I'm going to try and reallocate my shared parameter file to the file that's sitting in my BIM360 directory, which is sitting right over there within the resource folder within standards. There's a shared parameters file, it's a text file right here. All right, so what I'm going to do is from within Revit, I'm going to browse there, I'm going to say, let's go and set my shared parameter file to uh, I'm not going to save right now to and then I'm going to browse to my I open that file I open this resource folder I open the standards folder I go to the shared parameters file I select that text file and I say open and it says no this file wasn't found wow okay so here's the trick it will find that file if you explicitly open this file from within the Windows browser. There, now it's opened the file. I, I can close this file. Now watch. Browse. Have a look at that. No, it's happy. Alright, so there's the trick. The same thing happens with families as well. And one of the ways that I've found around it is that if you want to load a family, instead of going insert load family, in which case it's going to kick out the same error for you, rather go, you know what, why don't you just go and open, open that family, and then once you've opened the family, you can load it back into the project. And that's how to go about it. So pretty easy and it works like a dream so let's go and load this family in here for argument's sake there's a family now I probably haven't touched these families for ages and ages and ages um, I don't know if we've even got any furniture families in here we probably don't I haven't loaded any in yet but uh, we'll find some in general annotation probably there's a view title I'm gonna say open All right. so Let's just show you, maybe if I say load family, I go to my architectural project folder, here I say families, gen 2018 general, there is the annotations, let me go and open that one, that one it would open, alright, so 10 to 1 it's been opened recently, but in the case that it doesn't, what you do, is you simply say file open family you're going to open that family also from your Bin 316 directory now just to just note that I've actually browsed this location so the way that that BIM icon is showing on my Revit is I took this directory over here copied that I go to Revit I paste that and then what I do is I can right click over here I took the team directory but you can right click over there and say add folder you can see how it adds that to the places All right. 
So uh, it's not too difficult to set this up, otherwise you have to browse there. And here we go. So file open families general annotation open and then once you've opened it what you do is you say because that opening will actually download it off the internet that will synchronize it with your with your file and then once you do this you just load into project and close load into project and close overwrite the existing version and there you go alright so that is the way that is a way for you to to get at families as well as shared parameter files whatever files you need to load into your project that it doesn't want to do through the native interface that is how you do it either open the family explicitly within Raven load it into your project or otherwise if it's a text file like a shared parameters file maybe a lookup file um, I'm not exactly sure I haven't tested that yet but then you want to open that either within Word or Notepad or Excel or something like that uh, so that it, uh, it synchronizes that with your desktop and then it will load it into the Revit family. So um, something that I would like to see is that, they, that uh, this is included within the Revit interface that if you need to reference a file that it automatically then would load that into your in, into your project. But it's probably coming in the future. Let's, let's hope for it and uh, you know let's not have some small issue like this stop us from working with this amazing technology. I think it's really, really, really great. I'm enjoying it tremendously. I hope you are. If you are using it, if you're lucky enough to use it, wow, enjoy it. I think it's fantastic. So uh, until next time, um, have a great time riveting. Uh, cheers.